actually very enjoyable. I, I've had a wonderful two years. I've enjoyed working with all the people here in CIF and all the members. And I have really, really enjoyed my time as CIF president. Uh, the highlights are, there's a few. I uh, suppose the first one was the transposition of the Construction Contracts Act, uh, Bill into Construction Contracts Act. That received a lot of acclaim and celebration in here. However, it's been very disappointing the lack of progress since then. Though I am pretty sure that by the spring of next year we will have a fully functioning Construction Contracts Act and that will be a great benefit to the entire industry. I suppose the second thing would be uh, Construction 2020, which is a very, very useful blueprint. It's, it lists all the issues for a functioning construction industry, and I, I know CIF is on top of each and every one of them, and I think we will have to just influence government to implement all of the items of Construction 2020 by, by 2020. Then, of course, as part of that, we have the appointment of a Minister for Construction, We've always been looking for a go-to person at government level. And I think the appointment of Paddy Coffey is a huge plus for industry. And I think we should use that as much as we possibly can. But of course, we've also seen the introduction of Siri. And Siri, which is the Construction Industry Register, I think is a great vote of confidence in us as an industry to put together our own register. And hopefully by the end of next year it will be on a completely statutory footing. So I see Siri as a great achievement for the construction industry over the last couple of years. There's two types of challenge in a role like this. One is internal. One is keeping everybody on the same page. It's, CIF is a federation. Federations are difficult things to operate. You've got branches and associations with different views, different priorities and trying to keep everybody on the same course can sometimes be challenging. However, I feel that we have achieved that over the next two years and I see that that is what we have to keep doing into the future. The other challenges are then once policy is formed in here is to get that message sold to the people that matter. And that has, been, has always been a challenge but I think we've, we've seen a lot, much better communication between ourselves and the political establishment over the last couple of years and I think that will be a challenge going forward as well to maintain that moment. By nature construction industry changes slowly so two years is actually a very short window for something to change but I think confidence I think the industry has become a lot more confident both in what it does and how it sells itself and we're not ashamed to be the construction industry anymore we are now a confident part of the recovery of the Irish economy and I think that is, that is a major change. I think with the economy improving and without any external shock I think we will continue to see an improved industry. I think uh, there's a little bit more work out there. Uh, the market is better for the home building side of the, of the house and uh, yeah I would see is steady as she goes improvement over the next over the next year to 18 months. I think what we have to look at specifically differently is the way we train our people. Um, I think and that's people both on the workforce and at a trades level and also our members. So I think that will be the challenge going forward to attract good people into the industry and then to train them and maintain their training properly. And in that regard, I think my successor, Michael Stone, is an excellent president, will be an excellent president, but I know that's something he feels really passionately about. Yeah, of course I'll miss it, but I'm not going to be gone out of here. I'm, just, I'm not just thrown out the door. I will be still on a couple of committees. I'll still be on the, the, the executive body for another couple of years. So, yeah, I'll miss the role of president, but I think, I think I've done my bit, and I think two years, is, um, two years is plenty of time for that. Yeah, I do, I do. I, I say to members, um, take part more in the workings of CIF. The more you put in, the more you'll get out. And I know not everybody has the time to, put, to be on all the committees and all the, all the bodies, but pick a committee, pick, pick an area that you're passionate about 
is we always need new people in here to help us get through everything.